side, we have another activity for bowling. This game is called tug of war. We have our cone in the middle, and we are going to be rolling to knock down the cone. If I knock down the cone, I am going to move it to the next level of my domes, and then go back. Mrs. Coughlin is still going to be rolling. If she were to hit the cone there, or pin there, she'd move it back this way. If I hit it, I'm going to move it a little bit closer to my side. If I get it past this level here, then it is round one for Mr. Johnson, and we would mark it. We're going to do best of five, so whoever wins three rounds first. Then we'd start back in the middle and play another round. If you are by yourself, you can go right hand versus left hand and then alternate each roll. Right now, we're going to just go as quickly as we can back and forth trying to knock the pin down. Again, you can pick whatever distance is comfortable for you. We're going to go from the black line here. We are about one, two, three, four, about five steps away. You might want to back up. You might want to move a little closer. You can pick where the dome uh, spots go. Obviously, it's going to get easier for Mr. Johnson if I'm moving the target this way and more difficult uh, for Mrs. Coughlin. If she hits it early, it'll make it more difficult for me. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, Ms. Coughlin gets it. She would move her pin to the poly spot and we get ready and I go. There we go. I got it. So she, if you get it, you're going to go right away. So she missed. Now I have a chance to get it. Yes! Now it's here. See if Mr. Johnson can take advantage of the long roll. Oh no! Oh, oh shoot! 